For this project I'm using a size H. It's um, a 5mm crochet hook. And I'm using Caron Simply Soft. It's a 4-ply worsted weight acrylic. But any 4-ply yarn is fine. Okay, then you want to start off with a chain of 32. And we're going to start with the base of the bag. So you want to do a double crochet in the fourth stitch from the hook. And we don't count the one that's on our hook. So go ahead and double crochet in the fourth stitch. And then one double crochet in every stitch across the chain. Oops. Okay, I made it down here to the end after my first row of double crochet. And this last stitch down here, you're going to want to put five double crochet in the same stitch. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and then we're just going to continue down the bottom side of the chain, putting one double crochet in each stitch all the way down until we get to the other end okay I'm coming back to the end of this side and I'm at my very last stitch right here this one I want to put five double crochet in this stitch to match the other side so one, two, three, four, five, and then I want to just slip stitch in the top of this stitch right here to close the round off. So we got so far. Now what we want to do is a chain three, and this chain three counts as a double crochet. And then we want to go back into the same stitch and do another one. So that's actually having two double crochets in that same stitch. And then I'm going to go into the next stitch after that, and I'm going to do two more double crochets in that same stitch. And now I'm going to work my way down the chain, just putting one double crochet in each stitch. So we started this round off with two, co two double crochets in each of the first two stitches. And now I'm working down the rest of the way with one double crochet in each stitch until I get down here to this side. Okay, now I made it down here to this end. And what we want to do is, if you look, here's where we put the five double crochet in the corner. I want to be working in the two right before it. So the two right before this five, this one and this one, I want to put two double crochets in each of them. So two in that one, two in the next, and now I should be at the start of my five doubles from the previous round all in the same stitch. Now you want to go around putting two double crochets in each of them too. Okay, once you get two and them five, you want to put two in each of the next two stitches after that. 
kind of just to match two in them and two in that one. Now we're going to work down the row putting one double crochet in each stitch. So we just did the same thing on this side and this side. And now I'm just working down the line, putting one double crochet in each stitch until we get down to this side. Okay, now I'm making it down to this end, and I kind of just want to do the same thing on this end that I did on the other end. So the two stitches before this five, I want to put two double crochets in each of them. And then I want to put two in each of the five that we put in the corner on the previous round. Two. Two. Like that, and then I'm going to slip stitch into the top of this beginning chain three to close that round out. Because in the very beginning of this round, we put two in the very first two, so it just kind of matches up. Both ends match up, and that's what we have so far. Um, when you get done with this round, you need to have a total of um, 84 stitches. So you want to count around and make sure that you have 84. Um, because the reverse reverse V stitch needs to be done in um, multiples of four, so we need to have 84, or it ain't gonna turn out right. You're gonna have extra stitches at the end, and we don't want that. So once you count it and make sure that you have 84 stitches, we'll go ahead and start. Okay, this stitch that we slip stitched into, we want to put a V stitch into that. And how you do a V stitch is a double crochet, a chain one, and a double crochet, and it all goes into the same stitch. So what we want to do is we want to chain four, and this chain four is going to count as our one double crochet and our chain one. So now all we need to do is go back into the exact same stitch and do another double crochet, and that is our first V stitch. Double crochet, double crochet, and we have a chain one in between. So we want to skip the next stitch, and then the one after that, put a single crochet. And then we want to skip a stitch, and the one after that, we're going to work a V stitch again. So we're going to go in and do a double crochet, chain one, and another double crochet, all in the same stitch. And you can see it makes a V. So that's the V stitch. And then we want to skip a stitch and then go into the next one and do a single crochet. Skip a stitch, go into the next one and do a V, a double crochet, chain one, and another double, all in the same stitch. Skip a stitch, go into the next one, single crochet, skip a stitch, go into the next one and do a V, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. So we just want to repeat this pattern all the way back to the beginning. Okay, I made it back around to the end and I did the single crochet and I have one stitch left. That's my stitch I'm going to skip. And then I'm back here to the beginning. And this is where I did that chain four uh, V stitch in the very beginning. All you want to do is slip stitch into the space right there. And that closes that round off. So now we're going to start working the reverse V stitches. So what we want to do is 
go back into this V stitch that we just slip stitched into and do a single crochet. And now we're going to jump over here to the next stitch, which is a single crochet. And that's where we're going to do a reverse V stitch. We're going to do a front post double crochet, a chain one, and another front post double crochet all around. This is the post of the single crochet. So we're going to be working our stitch right here. If I can get my camera to focus. So right in the post of the single crochet. But we're going to do a double crochet around that post. I'm going to do a double crochet around that post and then I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to do another double crochet around that single crochet post. And that's going to make a V-stitch but it's going to be kind of popped out a little bit. You'll be able to see it a little bit better once we get more rows. It'll be more pronounced. And then in the next stitch, which is a V-stitch, we just want to do a single crochet. And then in the next stitch is a single crochet. We want to do a reverse V-stitch through the post. So we're going to go right through the post like that. Do a front post double. So a double. Chain one. And go back around the single crochet post. Do another double. And then the next stitch is a V-stitch. Just going to single crochet in it. The next stitch is another single crochet. So we want to work a double through the post of that single crochet. So we do a double crochet, oh, chain one, and then back through the post of that single crochet, do another double. The next stitch is the V-stitch, single crochet. Next stitch is a single crochet. I'm going to do front post double crochet around that post. Chain one and then another one around the same post. So we're doing the same thing we did last round but kind of opposite. We're working a single crochet in the top of the V stitches and then the single crochet stitches from the previous round. We're working a V stitch through the post of it. So you just want to repeat this pattern all the way back around to the beginning. Okay, I made it back around here after my first row, my second round, but my first row with a reversed V stitches. Okay, I'm going to do something here. A little different here to make it easier to work the rest of the bag. Okay, I just did a single crochet. Here's where um, I started the last round. See if I can show you here what we did. Okay, here's the double crochet V stitch from the very beginning where we chained four, remember, and we did the V stitch. And then the next round I slip stitched and single cro in crocheted into it, and that's this right here. So that's the beginning. And I'm, we're over here at the end. And here's my uh, last, where I ended up, is here's a V-stitch. And I did a single crochet in it. And then there's a single crochet right here that we would do a V-stitch in. But I'm going to skip that entirely and just skip right over to here and do a V-stitch. That's going to enable us to work in a continual round without having a slip stitch every round. It just works out easier. I found that it worked out easier this way. I think it does. So I'm just going to pretend like that we're not even doing anything with that. Like it's just not there. And I'm going to go ahead and do my reverse V stitch around this first single crochet from the previous round. I'm just going to do my reverse V stitch like that. And that's going to let me just work in a continual round. Now you might, I would definitely get a stitch marker of some sort 
actually I'm going to pull that stitch out that I just did. I'll redo it, but this is where you want to put a stitch marker, a piece of yarn or something. That way you know where the beginning is and where the end's at. And every time around you're just going to move it back up. So remember, I'm just going on our first stitch here. I hope that you're able to follow that okay. That's the easiest way I found to do it, I think. Now we're going to be able to work in a continual round. Works out better that way. You don't have to stop and slip stitch every time, and it's just easier. So now I'm just going to continue. I just did the reverse V stitch there, and here is the V stitch from the previous round. I'm going to single crochet in it, and here's the single crochet from the previous round. I'm going to do my reverse the V stitch around the post to that one. B stitch from the previous round, single crochet from the previous round, and do my V stitch, B stitch from the previous round, single crochet on the top of it, single crochet from the previous round, I want to do my reverse B stitch around the post of it. And now I'm just going to repeat this. It's the same thing that we did in the last round. All the way back around to my stitch marker. Okay, I'm coming back around to where my stitch marker is. And I'm at the stitch before it. The single crochet. So I'm just going to go ahead and do my reverse V stitch. And then I just want to move, pull my stitch marker up and move it up and then just continue around. Single crochet in the next V-stitch. And I'm just doing the same thing I did. It's going to be the same now all around. Just every time you get to your stitch marker, you want to try to remember to move it up. That way you know where you end and where you begin. So when we get to where we want to end, we can try to end it evenly. I'm just going to keep going around. Okay, I made it this far so far. And I've done... Uh, um, 16 rows. And you can always do more if you like. But, okay, I stopped back here where my stitch marker is. I'm going to add some rings and this is something that you don't have to do I got these rings off an old purse from a resale shop and that's the best place to get that kind of stuff but you can check at Walmart I'm not sure if they have them or wherever you get your purse supplies um, they're about inch inch rings I would say inch and probably about an inch inch to inch and a quarter maybe something like that but um, if you want to do that, I'll show you how to attach them. If not, that's fine. But I'm going to do four of them, so I'm going to need four stitch markers. I would use a different color than your other stitch markers so you don't get it confused because you're still going to use that. Okay, I got it laying flat out here of how it's going to, that's going to be the back and this is going to be front. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to mark where I want my rings. There's one V stitch here in this corner. So I'm going to count up two V stitches, not counting that one in the corner. And I'm going to put a stitch marker in that spot. And then I'm going to, not counting the one in the corner, I'm going to count over two V stitches. Just I'm just doing the V stitches, not the single crochets. So here's the one in the corner. One, two. And I'm going to put a stitch marker in that one. And then I want to do the same on this other side. V stitch in the corner, go two V stitches. This is just marking where I'm going to put my rings. Okay, what I do to attach the ring, 
Uh, my stitch marker is in a V stitch, so that means it's going to get a single crochet. I'm going to go ahead and move it so this doesn't get in my way. I'm not going to need it anymore. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my ring and I'm going to slide it behind my needle right out the front like that. And then I'm just going to go in and do my single crochet. Like that. And then I'm just going to continue doing my same pattern until I get to the other stitch marker. And it's attached there. So I'm just going to work my way to the other stitch marker. And I'll show you how to do it again. Okay, I'm here to where my other stitch marker is, so I'm going to grab another ring, and it's in the V-stitch, so it's going to be a single crochet. So I'm going to pull it out and move it, take my ring, slide it from behind, and just up like that. Just like it's not even there now, I'm just going to continue doing my pattern, just like normal. The reason why I take it from the behind like, or put the ring from the behind like that, it's because if you do it frontwards and then your yarn goes through the ring and you're constantly pulling the yarn through the rings and it, it just gets tangled that way. So I'm going to go ahead and work my way around and then when I get to the other side I'm going to do the same thing with my other two rings until I get back to my stitch marker. Okay, I'm going, I went made it back around after my first row or my row of sewing these um, rings on to my stitch marker and then I'm going around one more time doing the same stitch. Okay, I'm coming around to my next ring, and I'll just show you one more time how I did that. I just take my loop and put the ring on that side of it. That way it doesn't get all tangled up in there. And then I'll go ahead and do the V-stitch around the single crochet. like that and then I'll just continue along and there it is continue along doing my same pattern until I get to the next ring my last ring I'll show you one more time pull my yarn through lay it down to the side and then I can continue doing my v-stitch around that single crochet post and there it is attached now we're gonna work till we get to our stitch marker and you can pretty much tell where it's a little higher where we started the next round even if I mean if your stitch marker may have not gotten the right spot every time but you can kind of look and tell that it looks like mine new round started if you tell it's a little higher here started right about here my new round did so I'm gonna go ahead and what I'm gonna do is here's where my new round started I want to slip stitch into that round and that will close it out and then I want to tie it off and I still gonna hide my tail so I did 16 rows and then I attached my rings and I had two rows with that. So if you didn't put rings on, I did a total of 18 rows all together. But you can always do more if you want. Now I'm going to work on the handles. The handle, you can do any kind of handle that you want, but I'll go ahead and show you the kind that I'm going to do. Okay. I'm going to chain two, and then I'm going to go back into the first stitch and do a single crochet. 
and then I'm going to go into this stitch right here and single crochet. It's the stitch on top is what I'm going through. I'm going through the next stitch on top, the top two loops of it, single crochet. The stitch right here, single crochet, and stitch, single crochet, this stitch right here on top, going through both loops of it, top two loops, single crochet, Camera's doing funky stuff, focusing. Single crochet. You see I'm going into the stitch kind of like right behind or on top, but going through both loops of it. Single crochet. Single crochet. And I'm just going to do this for as long as I want my handles to be. Right back here. Single crochet. And that's what it starts to kind of look like. What it is, it's a foundationless row of single crochet. It's, it's like doing single crochet without having to do a chain. So, and you can do that too with double crochet or half double, but you just go right back up here on the top and go in that, oh. go in that, this stitch right here, single crochet, back up. crochet back single crochet and I'm going to do that for however long I want my handles um, and I already did some a little bit ago and I'm not sure I didn't count how many stitches I, I did but couple feet maybe 18 inches to two feet now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna purse up here with my clanky handles I am going to just tie them on my handles and I know that's probably not the conventional way to do it but who says you always gotta be like everybody else just do things our own way. But if, if you want to sew them on or make a different handle and sew them on, that's fine. However you want to do it. I just thought maybe I'd give it a little bit of a different look. And that's how I'm going to attach the handles. Sorry, I'm so clanky. And I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to attach the other one. I'm going to try to get them at, at about the same length. Get them the best that I can. My kids are out there acting crazy. You can probably hear them. <laughs> they make me laugh. I can hear them in here. Okay. That's about even. And now I did one more a lot longer and I'm gonna weave it in here so I'm gonna decide here which one I want the front of my back to be they both look the same so I'm gonna go down make it come out right about here. let's see here picking a v-stitch and I'm pulling it out of it one end of it I might have to use it and then I'm just going to weave it in and out of the V-stitches on the same row. So 
here's the next restitch, so I'm going to pull it out, and I have to that, and then the next restitch on the same row, right here, weave it in. Next restitch. I'm going to do this all the way around until I get back here to the beginning. Okay, I finished running this through, and I just tied a knot here. They both came out the same end, and I had a couple smaller rings that came off the same bag. They're probably about a half inch wide, maybe three quarters of an inch, and I just tied them on the ends to kind of tie in the handles. And that's it. That's all I'm going to do to the bag. But you feel free to do your handles any way you want. I mean, if you don't like that, that's fine. You can do it um, any way you think. And if you do make the bag, I'd really like to see it. You can post a picture on the Bag A Day Crochet Facebook page. I'll put a link below in the description box. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, have a good day.